Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, it's getting to that time where Windows is going to start rolling out Windows 11 to machines where if you're not prepared, you might get updated when you don't want to. So we're going to cover a couple of ways that you can prevent that from happening in your environment. Uh, the first one, and this is the way that I would prefer if you could do that, is uh, using group policy. And where we're going is we're just going to templates, Windows components, Windows update, and then Windows updates for business, which is right down here. Eventually here. Windows updates for business, that one. And right here, the select target feature update version. Uh, if you open this one up, there's not a lot to it. Uh, this one only has the version you want to stop on, uh, but if there's, <clears throat> if there might be another window in there that's going to say uh, which Windows product version, and in that one you want to put Windows 10, but in this one if you come in and do enable, and you want to lock at 21H2, right there, H2. And then apply that policy. And as that policy applies, that's going to prevent machines from going past that feature update. So it's going to stop feature updates past that version. Uh, and then if you go on to a later version, I believe this is because our domain controller could use some updating of its own. You can also specify to keep it on Windows 10 in there. Another option is, and I do not recommend this. I'm actually going to delete this, delete this once it's over. Is you can do it in the registry setting. If you're doing this as a one-off, sure. But, I mean, missing with registry... It's always, not always, but it can lead to a bad time. So if you can avoid it, you want to. And basically, it's just going to go local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Update, which is all the way down to this path. And then you see I have three in here. We have target release version info. That's where I put the 21H2, just like we did in the group policy. The product version, we put Windows 10, which is if we had the updated uh, ADMX template, that's what we would put that. And then target release version is just as a D word set as one. And with this registry key, uh, your Windows will no longer update to Windows 11, but that's that's more of a one-off and only if you have to. Uh, the last option, unfortunately I can't show you because I don't have access to our WSUS. I've been told to shut my mouth, that's for real admins. But in WSUS, if you're going down to your Windows updates, there's a series of check boxes. You can just uncheck all the Windows 11 and it will prevent that from WSUS pushing out as well. Uh, so that's just, Three avenues where you can keep it to Windows 10 until you're sure you or your environment is ready for the latest version. Uh, for, <clears throat> I guess, please like and subscribe. I'm supposed to say that now, apparently. And uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, for PDU.com, I'm Jordan. And uh, here's my thumbnail pose.